Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> it's work day. Hi guys, my name is Sarah Holly. Welcome back to my vlog. It is room makeover time. Behind me are my lovely assistants, Elena and Maria. Who, if you have seen my vlogs before, you will actually have seen them in a few of my videos. Elena was in my first ever vlog, very Aww. exciting. My productive work with me day, I will link that here. And Maria was recently in one of my vlogs where she helped me organize my wedding things and mostly just got really excited about some of my things that I had. That's all. Okay, so anyway, today we are working on my primary bedroom. This is the bedroom that I have been in for the past year. And when we first moved in, we painted it this light blue. It is not my favorite color, it never has been. It's the only color in my whole house that I didn't swatch before we painted. And I genuinely do kind of regret that because the swatch that we had um, looked a lot dustier than the kind of baby boy nursery blue that it ended up being. But today we're going to start the process to fix that. This is going to become our primary bedroom for when my fiance moves in after we get married in less than one month. So it is go time to make over this space. So. Welcome, thanks for being here, and let's get started. Hi guys, we clearly had a great time yesterday. It ended up just being like a jam session while we were painting, and I wouldn't have wanted it any other way, so that was a blast. As you can see, we did one coat of primer, and frankly, I will not buy this primer again. I just feel like it was really thin, even while we were painting. I was like, I don't think this is covering that much. So that was kind of a bummer, but that's okay. It's better than no primer, and I am sure the color that we put on will still, um, we'll need two coats anyway. So that's totally fine. Here's the dilemma. I have this vision for what I want the color of this room and just the vibe of this room to look like. I'll actually put a few inspo photos on the screen. I am having the hardest time actually getting that color. I am just, colors always look different in different rooms. And so I'm trying to give myself grace that I'm not simply terrible at picking out colors, but that I probably just need more practice because I haven't done it very often. And two, it's just hard to pick like a very specific look that I have in my mind. So I probably need to do some blog research on other people, see their photos and actually see the color they used. But <laughs> here are my first three trial samples. And when I tell you they like are really not the ones, I like really mean they're not the ones. Um, so here we have it. So here we have them. I'm going for, here's what I'm going for. I'm hoping for like a linen, kind of a like Odi, think natural soft. This is just skin color. Like we are, I guess it's a little yellower than mine, but it feels like just like pale skin color. Like I don't, I don't love it. It's, it's not, it's just in many ways, not what I was picturing at all. They're all of three of these are too dark, not the ones. I did go and pick up some more samples today, which I'm gonna try on the other side of the wall and just see how it goes. So this middle one is the closest, I think, from just like a tones perspective. This one feels too pink and this one feels too yellow. This one feels most kind of neutral. <laughs> So what I did is I got this in 50% color. So it's like much whiter essentially than this actual color. So we'll see if that works. And then I also got Maritime White, which the sample actually looks really promising. So I'm gonna paint that on this side and we'll let it dry and we'll come back to it. I'm not actually doing painting today. I'm still in my work clothes because I have more work to do. I'm doing a late night training for our Asia team. But I want a sample because I want to be able to paint tomorrow, even if I can, um, but for sure by the end of the week, I wanna at least have one more coat in here. So we have to pick our color first or else can't paint without a color. So um, let's try it. So this is Benjamin Moore's Maritime White OC-5. And if you're interested, here are the color kind of tones in here. It never looks the way that the pot wet does. So we'll see. The other color I'm gonna to sample today is 
this color, natural wicker, kind of this middle tone. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, it looks like, but these are three different colors. Anyway, this is natural wicker. It's the tone that I think works the best, but it's too dark. So I'm trying a 50% mix of that specific one. Anyway, could just be me, but that's what we're trying. And actually, I'm feeling okay about it. Here are the colors. This is actually drying really pretty. This is the mixed one. And then this is kind of the darkest option of the ones that I tried. The more this is drying, the more I like it. I'm gonna need to do another coat on these because you can start, sort of see the blue through it still, but I'm really liking this one actually. It's lighter than I thought I would go for, but I'm also really liking this one if I decided to go dark. That's a dilemma for sure. All right, we'll do one more coat and just let them be. And then I'll make my decision tomorrow once everything has fully dried. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, it is a new day. I am back in the room. It is officially time to do the first coat of the color we chose, which as a friendly reminder was the Maritime White, but it is 75% pigment, so 25% lighter. This is a trust the process process. I continue to tell myself because I'm gonna be honest, this color against the blue was really not it. <laughs> and that's making me really nervous, but I keep going back to this corner that had all of our samples on it and the colors against the white look really pretty. So friendly reminder, this was the Maritime White. This was a mix that I kind of created by putting the really light color with the Maritime White. And so this is the color that came out of the can that I've been trimming. And I like this combo, this is so pretty. So I need to just keep going, cover the blue, let it dry and see how it looks. I really don't want to paint this room again, so I'm like telling myself it's gonna be fine. It's gonna to be totally fine. It's gonna look amazing. And then with our headboard and sheets, it's gonna look even better. So trust the process with me is all I'm asking of you. Like we're in this together. We picked our colors together. Just trust the process. So once I get the first coat on here, everything, everything will be better. Do you hear? I'm like my mantra right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna finish. All I have to do is the edge around the baseboard and then I can do the big roller, which I think is gonna make all the difference. So let's get on that. Remember when I told you to trust the process? I think it's working. <laughs> I feel good. I have this chunk that for whatever reason you can barely see, even though it's obviously blue and everything else is not. I have this chunk left. And then we have an adequately oat room, which is looking okay, actually. I'll give you kind of a, a shot once I finish this last little bit, but I mean, obviously it's not dry and it always dries in every color, but I'm feeling so much better <laughs> than I was the last time we talked. So I'm gonna take that as a win for tonight. Okay. Remember that conversation we had about trusting the process? Look at how pretty it is! <laughs> so let me tell you, I am in love. There's so many things to unpack here. So the color of the walls actually comes off a little lighter in the camera than it is, but if you remember, wet, this paint was looking really kind of yellow and let's just say not what I was wanting it to be. I was really genuinely feeling pretty nervous that I, it was not gonna look good. I just, so many of the things that we tried felt kind of fleshy, which is kind of a gross way to describe it, but it just wasn't feeling like the calm kind of tan beige I was going for. And so I was really nervous, but this is maybe the best way to show you kind of the color. So got obviously the bright white and then it was really a sand color that I was going for here. And then next to the gold is so pretty. And then the sneak peek of the color next to the wood with my curtains, everything is just really coming together. And speaking of wood, I have been busy since I finished painting. I had major shout out to the people in my life. I am so grateful. I've had so much help. Like 
so much help and I need it because I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> it is officially less than two weeks until my wedding. And so we're in go time. It is, we have to get this stuff done. So over the weekend, my lovely friend Molly came over and helped me put up our beautiful curtains. I bought these curtain rods new from Target. So you'll see they're kind of brassy with a little bit of a knob at the end. These curtains, I actually can't uh, tell you where they're from because they were left here by the previous homeowners, which is very kind. <laughs> so curtains are now up on both windows. And then the pride and joy of this bedroom, which is our king article bed frame and side tables, which are connected into the bed frame. One long, beautiful piece of wood. And my parents so graciously came over and spent hours with me putting this together. It wasn't hard, there was just a lot to it and it's heavy. So like you just needed multiple people. So I will show that to you now. Look at this beautiful work of art. It is platform level bed, so you can kind of see that it's lower. Um, it has just a beautiful kind of wood tone. I love the chevron of the wood. Um, and then the side tables are floating connected. You can kind of see that. Like I said, it was kind of a process putting it together. I did attempt to take a time lapse. And so I will insert some of those clips now of my parents and I putting it together yesterday. And now, something I've been very excited to do as well. We have a mattress. This is a Zivius mattress. Um, it's actually, I bought it through Amazon. A lot of my family has bought these Zivius mattresses. The one I'm currently on in my now guest room, but my original bedroom is also Zivius. This is their Green Tea Luxe. So it's one of their like highest end, but it's all, they're all budget mattresses. And I've really, had a great time <laughs> using their mattresses. We've had them for a few years now. So if you're looking for a budget mattress, but you still want something that's comfortable and still seems like quality, that would be a good brand for you. It's time to open it, which is always an interesting experience. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop it up here and we can open it together. all this plastic off. Oh, I totally lied to you. The brand is called Zenus, not Zivius. I don't know where that came from. Whew. That would have been much easier with two people. But we made it. Okay. Now this needs about 72 hours to fully puff up. And since we're not actually staying in this room until we get married, we have plenty of time. So probably this weekend, like put all the bedding on and kind of make it look all nice and homey. But in the meantime, I have one more thing I wanna show you. I bought us new lamps for our little side tables. I wanted them to be really petite because it's a small side table to begin with. And I just thought that it would be nice to have a little light because then we don't have to use the overlight as much. I opened the box, but I have not actually seen them yet. So I'm very curious. Oh, pretty. Oh, they're so nice. Look at that. Oh, I love them. They're the perfect size. I love that it's kind of chunky in this cube. I just think that will look so nice. How cute is that? It's the perfect size. Oh, I love it. Okay, I need to get to work and this mattress needs to puff up. So we will do that and I will check back in with you in a few days. Hello, I actually can't remember how many days it's been since we last talked, but I'm taking a break from laying outside. It is officially Memorial Day weekend. It is Sunday, which means we are one week exactly away from my wedding, which is kind of wild but I wanted to continue making progress on the bedroom. We are so close. I think we'll be able to wrap it up completely today, which I'm so excited about. Um, 
I'm waiting on some sheets to arrive in the mail that should be here any time now. But in the meantime, I thought that I would show you the state of the bedroom because we ordered a wardrobe or like a dresser. We ordered a dresser for Jonathan's clothes. And when I tell you that this is going to be a process, it's a good thing that I have essentially nothing else to do today <laughs> and already got some relaxation sun time because this is gonna take longer than I expected. Here's our current state. Big old box. And look at all these pieces. Oh, I just, so much. I'm watching YouTube as always. Look at the first step of the directions. <laughs> this is just, Gonna be a lot but thankfully i have the whole day to just relax eat some snacks drink some coffee and put together my newest puzzle <laughs> i am going to spare you the time lapse of me doing this because you've already seen a put together furniture time lapse in this video and i i just feel like for the sake of time you don't need to see this one but at least you know that i'm doing it and the wood tones are really pretty i'm very pleased with the purchase um, and I will show you once it's all put together and then we are going to do some styling and put my bed together and it's just going to be fun to kind of wrap everything up. So I will see you in an hour or two, probably. I'll let you know. How beautiful is this? Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. Worth the hours it took to put together unfortunately but I it's so beautiful it slides really well it actually has these dowels that you pop in the sides so that it doesn't come out all the way which I think is actually very inventive okay Jonathan my love it's ready for you whenever you get to move in. Hi guys, Jonathan just told me he's gonna step over after work to check out the dresser and because my sheets are almost done, I wanna see if I can quick race and get the bed all set up so that when he comes over, not only is the dresser set up, but the whole bedroom is essentially done. So um, I wasn't planning on doing this tonight, but I just think that would be a really fun surprise and I'll try to film his reaction and everything. So we need to speed. So I'm not gonna talk to you while I do this, but I'm going to show you my process. So like I mentioned, we have gotten the Zenus Green Tea Luxe mattress. And so far we're both really happy with it. We've kind of laid on it, whatever, tested it out. We have a hundred days to see if we really like it, but yeah, we have all sorts of layers to add to this new mattress. So things that I'm using on the bed, we have just a like regular Target made by design mattress protector. I'm putting on a duvet right now that's from the brand Royal Living. Our sheets are from Amazon and our uh, duvet cover is the Casa Luna Beautiful Beige. I don't know what they actually call it uh, color wise, but anyway, they're linen slash cotton, linen on the top, cotton on the bottom, uh, duvet. And all of our pillows, we have pillows on our registry that we didn't end up getting. And so we're gonna buy all of those once we get back from our honeymoon and have kind of a registry, the discounts or whatever. And so the pillows we're gonna use today are more just for, they're temporary. They're kind of the models that you'll get the vision. Um, but anyway, I need to keep moving. I will link everything below. How great is this? that the duvet I bought and the duvet cover I bought both have a little loop-de-loop -loop for keeping it where it's supposed to be. I'm so pleased with that. I'm loving this duvet already. Okay. Gotta get the sheets from the dryer. They're so warm. Okay, here we go. I don't know what side is the bottom. This color is so pretty. She drops so very soft. Look how crisp that is. Now again, use your imagination because I don't have king pillows yet.
Okay, <laughs> the pillows are a little bit small, but overall the bed is made. It's done. <sighs> oh, actually, one sec. This blanket used to belong to Jonathan's grandma's and it's a king size. And so when he first showed it to me, he told me about how special it would be to be able to have this on our bed as kind of an accessory. And so I get to surprise him with it. I think it's gonna mean a lot to him. Now the bed is done. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> Oh, oh no. the afghan. Oh. Oh. I knew that would be special for you. Oh. It looks so beautiful. It's like out of a magazine. I know. Wow. It's our bedroom. It is our bedroom. <laughs> and with that, we are officially done. It feels so good. To be in this room, it is peaceful, it's beautiful. Honestly, it feels like a 180 from uh, the room it was just a couple weeks ago. So I'm so grateful for everybody that came and helped me both on and off camera. It feels like a whole community has been pushing Jonathan and I towards being ready for this wedding and this room is no different. So I am just, I'm ready. I'm ready to get married. <laughs> this room is going to last us a very long time and I feel like it will be a very special memory knowing that it was done around this time for us as well. So thank you for following along. Thank you for being a part of this journey. We have quite a few room makeovers to go. Uh, might need a little bit of a break after this one, but there will be lots more to do in this beautiful home. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I um, know most of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed and we are racing towards 500 subscribers, which is wild. And so if you could help be one of those people to get me there, that would be amazing. And you know, like the video, comment, all the lovely things. I'm so grateful uh, that you're here. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'm off. Thank you guys. And I'm gonna go get married. <laughs> See you on the flip side.